Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and to this video. Today we will be painting in a looser painting and so I did wanted to loosen up my style, maybe help you loosen up your style and so I decided to do uh, uh, this one, quite simple and easy painting and I believe we will have a lots of fun. So I am using this 100% uh, cotton watercolor paper, it is Claire Fontaine, Fontaine watercolor paper, uh, 100 and uh, 40 pounds or 300 gsm and well i started with my sketch I just drew in the horizon line on the upper third of my paper and some uh, diagonal lines for for some trees or some foliage or some bushes there and afterwards i've privated the paper just upper part where the sky or above the horizon line is and then used a quite light wash of blue and a little bit of uh, neutral black in it just a little bit to get slightly grayish tint and just added on the part where the sky is above the horizon line a little bit darker on top a little bit lighter nearer to the horizon line and then afterwards i turned my paper around and used this mix of and this is something like i would say maybe rose sienna and some burnt umber mix of those two colors and just added it to that uh, diagonal line going downwards and since i tilted my paper the paint is just bleeding slightly downwards added on top a little bit of darker brown and then a little bit of a neutral black turned my paper around and as you could have seen i've just tapped in with the brush the at the lowest part at the lowest border of my trees to get that darker darker tint there and just afterwards with the tip of my brush i was just uh, pressing onto the paper and doing some tree-like shapes and then with the back side of my uh, brush with the handle i've made a couple of lines just to scratch on the paper to make somewhat uh, tree trunks and uh, tree branches and also with this flat brush i picked up a little bit of the paint here and there to make it look as though we can see behind those trees also uh, i was all doing that while the paper was still uh, wet afterwards i dried that completely and then moved on to the lower part where our road is and where some lower foliage and some lower bushes are this time i did not privet the paper but picked up this uh, very rich color something like um, burnt sienna and then added it just beneath the trees again tapping with my brush and a little bit also lower mimicking some uh, bushes and just giving a hint that there are that there is some foliage some uh, some grasses some bushes and also added here and there a little bit of darker brown and also some neutral black then moved on to painting the road I've painted that one same color as I did for the sky but this time I've used just a little bit more of uh, black to make it a little bit uh, go a little bit more on that uh, grayish black side than onto the blue side and just doing some details here and there adding a little bit more of the bushes impressions of the bushes then some lines on the road some dirt on the road just making it look like there are some uh, tire tracks or just some dirt on the road I left it to dry completely and then added a little bit more of the details to the road. Afterwards, I moved on to painting the mountains behind, that are behind our trees. And this time I did not pre-sketch those mountains, but of course, if it would make it easier for you, you can absolutely pre-sketch them, add some uh, lines to make it easier for yourself to paint in those mountains. Opera one is a little bit lighter and somewhat uh, a little bit more brownish color, lighter brown, and the lower one, the mountain that is nearer to, nearer to us, is a little bit more grayish in that one i've added just a little bit more of black 
and then I'm just tapping in as you can see I did not paint those two mountains to touch each other I left that white part uh, between them and later on it won't be so visible so in some parts there are touching and the paint was bleeding one into another because I was painting while the upper mountain mountain that is behind was still wet but it doesn't matter just leave some part uh, that white between those two mountains to make it look as though there are two mountains if it's hard for you if it doesn't work for you you'll just leave that uh, mountain that is further away to dry completely and then paint in the one that is near to us also as you could have seen that part where the trees are I was just going around the trees and making some uh, impressions of the trees leaving the shapes of the trees I did not paint the just one straight line but just went into here and there to make it look as though there are trees there and also added a little bit more black to the lower part of that trees a little bit more details to the road some darker paint and I'm adding just details here and there now I'm picking up with a flat brush some of the paint and painting in th uh, those lines that are on the road and I decided not to use for now gouache or any other white pen or something like that but I've just picked up the paint with my brush and now with white gouache I'm adding those uh, lines in the middle of the road and then just a little bit more emphasizing those lines on the sides that I picked up the the paint there and now just picking up the washi tape and I was just looking at that and I was just mixing the focal point in my painting the mountains weren't so detailed they were just lacking details so I was just missing something the road was pointing to that one center part but there was just nothing to focus on nothing that would stand out on that painting so I decided to paint a couple of birds and also those I started with in that center part going upwards just to play around with your eye and just to move your eye around the paper and with that I think it just ended up perfect and there is some focal point there so I hope this was fun for you and you like this painting please do write me down in the comment do you like this a little bit looser paintings if yes I was thinking maybe do a couple of more videos about that and just try to loosen up all of our styles and again guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video please hit the like button share it comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that would really mean a lot to me maybe consider joining my channel that would mean also very very much to me and well again thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time bye